The next topic in learning MATLAB is for loops. For loops allow us to run a command multiple times uh, for a given number of times as we, we, we desire to run those commands. So let me show you how for loop works with this script. I'm going to cl do clear, close all, and CLC. And I want to create a very basic um, for loop. So for CNT, short for count, is equal to 1 to 10. Let's say I want to run a command for 10 times. When I press enter, there's a tab there to make the code readable. Let me say f print f and say step and space and give a format for number d without a number, which means just put print a integer there and then go to the next line and um, do cnt and end this and let me put a semicolon at the end of this line so if i control enter this you see that it prints step one two three four five all the way to step ten which means i ran this command ten times without needing to type step one two three four uh, like mo ten times uh, in, in MATLAB. So for loops are very good features to run multiple commands or one command multiple times. Let's say I have a variable a and what I want to do is to add a uh, or add 1 to 10 and find the result. So here I can say at each time a is equal to a plus c and t. So this CNT is going to start with 1 and then 2 and every time it adds to the previous value stored in A. And so what I want to do here is say uh, step at, at each step. Control T means put a tab there. And let's put this 2D. And then A is equal to backs uh, or percentage and make this D. And because I have two per, two number uh, formats in here, this is the first one, this is the second one, I need to pass two number values to my fprintf. So the next one is going to be a. And it's very important to know that I need to define a before I jump into the for loop. If I don't have this, like that, if I want to run this piece of code, MATLAB is going to give me an error that it doesn't identify or recognize this a that is being passed into the for loop. So let me just run this and you will see the error. Undefined function of variable a. So I need to define it beforehand. So I uncomment it and I say move further. So step one, a is equal to one and they're pretty close. What I want to do is put two tabs in here and run this. Step two, a is equal to three, on and on and on until the step 10 is done and a becomes 55. But let's say I wanted to break away from the for loop after a becomes bigger than 36. So I'm going to write an if loop. If a is bigger than 36, break and end. Before I run the code, let's just see what break does. Break means terminate execution of while or for loop. So basically when A gets becomes bigger than 36, the rest of the for loop will not run. If I just run this uh, the script, you see that A runs, I should have done 30, let's put it 30, it's better. The loop runs for eight steps and as soon as A becomes 36, which means bigger than 30, it breaks from um, the, um, the for loop and doesn't run this, the last two steps. Another feature in for loops is continue. Continue means do not run the next line and just move back to the next iteration. So I in this for loop I have 10 iterations. If I say continue here and change this to less than 30. 
So as long as a is less than 30, the, the rest of this for loop is not going to run. So I'm going to say f print f. This is the end in backslash n. And if I just print this line, it printed a is equal to one, b is equal to, and then a is equal to three. It went for the eight steps. And then it also did the next uh, two steps, steps nine and steps steps nine and 10. But at the end of those, because a was actually bigger than 30, it printed the, this is the end. Whereas after the steps one to seven, it did not. So anything after this if, if condition is not run while this is true, as you can see. So if I say else, which means do everything while uh, a is bigger than 30 and do break, these lines will again disappear. Let's try it that disappeared. So this line did not actually appear. So what we did in here was we learned that break will break away from the for loop and will not run the remainder of the uh, for, uh, iterations. Wherever it stops, wherever the condition is met, it will stop it, uh, executing the commands. The continue means whatever is written afterward here do not run. So this command was not run while we did not have this else break until this condition was false. And then while I had these 10 steps, I could run this piece of code 10 times and see the final result. So this is a very uh, basic way of uh, defining for loops in MATLAB, running some command multiple times in the software and uh, saving time and making, run, making codes more optimized.